And joining me now to discuss the man himself, national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Morton Klein. All right, Mr. Klein, uh, you say that Biden or that uh, Obama's pulling the strings behind the scenes and he is the worst president for Israel ever. Yes, almost <clears throat> virtually everyone that Joe Biden has appointed to a position that affects Israel is a friend of Obama's, including the most recent Jack Lewis ambassador to Israel was Obama's chief of staff and secretary of treasury. And that's true of virtually everyone there. And all of the people he's appointed are extraordinarily hostile to Israel. Hadi Amar, who's the liaison to the Palestinians and, and Israel, uh, has praised the Intifada as something that inspires him, supports boycotting Israel. Mahir Bitar, the head of intelligence that Biden appointed, a friend of Obama's, uh, used to have uh, 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 regular programs demonizing Israel. And Obama, <laughs> while he was president, uh, refused to veto Resolution 2234, 2334, which says everything past the 67 line is Arab territory. Mm -hmm. That means the, the Jewish section of Israel, uh, the Western Wall, that's all Arab territory, according to Obama. And he compared, wow. he gave a basis for Hamas's murder, rape, beheading babies to the occupation. He, get, he legitimized it to the occupation, when yeah. in fact, there is zero occupation in Gaza. There's not a single Jew there. There's no occupation. Well, yeah, they pulled and all their stuff Judea out in 2006. Uh, but I want to get to your op-ed real quick. You, you wrote this op-ed titled, quote, Biden's call for a ceasefire <laughs> is pro-Hamas <laughs> and anti-Israel. Look, I, I happen to agree with you. If you, if you were just going to ceasefire in the midst of them rocketing all the, your civilian targets, then, yeah, is that exactly what Hamas wants? <laughs> Hamas wants a ceasefire to regroup. <laughs> Uh, and re-coordinate uh, uh, what they can do to uh, uh, attack Israelis who are trying to get rid of Hamas. Uh, that will only slow down Israel's ability to get rid of Hamas. If you want to save lives, even Arab lives, you, you let Israel continue to fight every single day. You don't slow it down. Mm -hmm. uh, and you don't bring in aid, which will almost surely, as it has in the past, be stolen by, by Hamas. Yeah. And uh, it's quite interesting. They scream about the civilians being killed. Several thousand. It's a war. You know that in the war between Saudi Arabia and Yemen, 150,000 civilians died. No one said a word. In our own wars against Iraq, Afghanistan, yeah. and Somalia, 430,000 civilians were killed. No one said yeah. a word. This is pure hatred of Israel making an issue out of civilians yeah. when you ignored civilians in every other war. Yeah, well, well more than obviously, maybe if they would stop launching rockets from civilian like schools and <laughs> hospitals, they might not be targeted as much. Morton Klein, we appreciate you being here, sir. Thank you so much.